11.2, day two, we're looking at solving an equilibrium problem. So we have a weight of 480 pounds is supported by three ropes located at S, which is 0, 2, negative 1. The ropes are attached to the points P, which is 2, 0, 0, Q, which is 0, 4, 0, and R, which is negative 2, 0, 0. We're going to find the force or tension on each rope. So let's graph what we know so far. So S is the weight that we have, and so that is at 0, and then Y is positive 2, and then Z is negative 1. So here is our weight here. I'm going to call that, that is S, we know that's S, and then our weight, and it's going down, that is actually negative 480. So I write it in component form, that's 0, 0, negative 480. Now we have P, which is at 2, 0, 0, so X is 2, and then 0 here, so that is P. And then we have Q, which is at X is 0, Y is 4, and then 0, so this is Q. And then we have R, which is at negative 2, 0, 0. Okay, and so we have ropes that are attached to this weight here. Uh, we know that P, let me label those points, 2, 0, 0. Uh, Q over here is 0, 4. 0 and r is negative 2 0 0. I'm going to go ahead and call these something else. P I'm going to say that's u, q is v, and r is going to be rz. So to find the force vectors corresponding to the ropes we need to first write all of our information. So u we know that that is going to be the u, uh, magnitude of u and then so we're looking at U here, and so notice we have S and P here. So we're looking at that vector SP uh, over the magnitude of that vector SP. So this is going to be the magnitude of U, and then we need to find the component form of S and P. So this is going to be 2 minus 0, right, 2 minus 0, and then 0 minus 2, and 0 minus 1 all over the magnitude so this numerator is just going to become 2 squared plus negative 2 squared plus 1 squared and so we have u equals a magnitude of u uh, 2 negative 2 and 1 all over the square root of 4 plus 4, which is 8, 8 plus 1, which is 9, so that's going to be 3. So to simplify this more, magnitude of u uh, times 2 over 3, negative 2 over 3, and 1 over 3. So that is u. And then we need to find v and z as well. So v is the magnitude of v, and then we are going to take q and s, or s and q, magnitude v, s, q, vector s, q, over the magnitude of s, q. And so that is going to be the magnitude of v, and this is going to be q here, 0 minus 0, 4 minus 2, and 0 minus a negative 1, all over the square root of 0 squared plus 2 squared plus 1 squared. So this is going to be the magnitude of v times... 0, 2, 1, all over the square root of 4 plus 1, which is 5. And so v is going to be the magnitude of v times 0, 2 root 5, and 1 over root 5. And I'm just going to leave it like that for now. Now next, we need to find z. So z equals the magnitude of z, and we're looking at here the r. So this is going to be s r, vector s r, over the magnitude of s r. So this is, go ahead and try this out on your own and then um, pause the video and I'll have the answer for you in a minute. Okay, so then you would have the magnitude of z and then you have negative 2 minus 0, 0 minus 2, 0 minus a minus 1, all over the square root of negative 2 squared plus negative 2 squared plus 1 squared. So then you would have the magnitude of z 
times negative 2, negative 2, 1 over the square root of 9, which is 3. So therefore, z is going to be the magnitude of z times negative 2 over 3, negative 2 over 3, and 1 over 3. Now, for the system to be in equilibrium, because it was saying an equilibrium problem here, so we would have u plus v plus z plus w has to equal 0. Or another way to kind of think about this is we can say u plus v plus z equals negative w. So now we're here going to write a system. So our first line, our first system, we're going to use all of the initial numbers here. So for example, let's look at u. I'm going to use this number here, this number here, and this number here for z, and then also this number here for our weight. So this is going to be 2 thirds, and I'm going to put the magnitude of u in the back, plus we have 0 times the magnitude of v, and then over here we have minus 2 thirds times the magnitude of z, and that's going to equal 0. So that is equation 1. So next we're going to look at the middle term here, 1, 2, 3, 4. So this is going to be negative 2 thirds magnitude of u plus 2 over root 5 times the magnitude of v and then minus 2 thirds times the magnitude of z and this is going to also equal 0, so this is equation 2. Then our last value, we have 1 third magnitude of u plus 1 over root 5 times the magnitude of v, then plus 1 third the magnitude of z equals, now it's going to be negative negative w, so it's going to be negative negative 480, which is a positive 480, which is our equation 3. So now what we're going to do is we have to solve this system. We need to solve it for magnitude of u, magnitude of v, and magnitude of z. And so go ahead and try this out. See if you can solve it on your own. Um, and then when you come back, I'll have the answer for you. Okay, just to kind of work through this. So I'm going to add these two equations together. I want to eliminate the u's first. So if I add equation 1 and equation 2 together, I am going to get 2 over root 5 magnitude of v and then minus 4 over 3 magnitude of z equals 0. Now I use equation 1 and 2, so therefore I must use equation 3. And I do want to cancel out uh, the u still. We need to cancel out the same exact variable. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply negative 2 to equation 3, and then I'm going to add that, so negative 2 equation 3, and then add it to equation 1. So when I do that, so I'm going to do my work down here. This is negative 2 thirds magnitude of u plus negative 2 root 5 magnitude of v minus 2 over 3 magnitude of z. And this is going to equal negative 960. So now I'm going to take this and now I'm going to add it to equation 1. And so when I do that, notice I'm going to get negative 2 over root 5 magnitude of v and then minus 4 over 3 magnitude of z equals negative 960. So now if I add these together, notice my v's are going to cancel out right away. So I'm going to have negative 8 thirds magnitude of z equals negative 960. So to solve for z, we're going to multiply by negative 3 over 8. And so we find that the magnitude of z is going to be positive 360. So then we take z, we're going to plug it into one of the equations, and then solve for the other variable. So I'm going to go ahead and plug it into the first equation here. So 2 over root 5 magnitude of v uh, minus 4 over 3 times 360 equals 0. And then so this is 2 over root 5 magnitude of v. And then I'm going to move this to the other side. So that's going to equal 480. Then you multiply by the reciprocal. And so you find that the magnitude of V is going to be approximately 536.7. Then last, you need to solve for U. So we're going to take these values. Uh, let's look at the equations. Um, we can plug it into the first equation here, right here, uh, because all we need to plug in is Z. 
and then we can figure out the rest. So we have 2 thirds, 2 over 3, magnitude of u, plus, uh, well, it's going to be a minus, sorry, minus 2 over 3 times z, which is our 360, and that equals 0. So this ends up being 2 over 3 magnitude of u equals 240. Then we multiply by 3 over 2 on both sides. And then you find that the magnitude of u is 360 as well. So therefore, the rope at point P, okay, point P is our u, is 360. And then Q is 536.7 and R is 360 pounds of tension. Now, what I would like you to do as part of the homework is actually do this example here. So not the one out of the text, but not number 65. I want you to work with this problem here. Um, show all your work and then you'll have to show this to me um, by uploading it in Google Classroom.